Hello, love. Welcome to Stepping Into the Light with Julia Treat. That's me, your host. Thank you for listening and tuning in as I share my stories. Now, it's funny. I just, my two new dogs, I have two new dogs, two Havanis. I have Macy and Gracie, and they have been silent until I hopped on here to record this, and now they're playing. So we'll see how much how much we get through here. Um, hopefully they won't make too much noise in the background. So I wanted to talk. You know, it's funny. I got ready to record my podcast. I sat down, and I was like, what the hell am I going to talk about? I don't even know what I'm going to talk about today. That rarely happens, but it happened today. So I went outside, sat down in a lawn chair, Michael's out there, and I said, huh, I don't know. Like, I've been sitting in there, just sitting there. I don't even know what to say today. And I said, I'm just going to sit here for a moment or two, and it's going to come to me. And I had a, a sip or two of a Stella Artois. And I said, oop, I started <laughs> having this vision of what's been happening around my house lately. So... That was that led me to the topic for today. So I have been decluttering for quite some time. I, you know, I teach about that in my spiritual boot camp. It's a couple of the days. <laughs> there, there's, there's Miss uh, Gracie right there saying hello. All right, girls. Hey, can you go play somewhere else besides right beneath my chair? <laughs> so my boot camp. There's a couple days that we declutter and we take it. You know, room by room, corner by corner, but we discuss, you know, I'd let them know. I let my students know, first of all, how the how the clutter is affecting them, because it is affecting your energy. And then also, um, I give tips on releasing yourself of things, because I always look at it as I'm giving gifts to other people. So the cool stuff that I go and donate, which... Because I'll be honest, I don't have junk. I have a lot of really good stuff. But the stuff that I donate, I always look at it like someone going in and finding a treasure for a fraction of the of the price that it would have been. And when I donate things, I look at it as abundance, like I'm spreading the wealth. I don't, for me, I don't need to go sell it somewhere and make money because money's going to show up in other ways. That's my vibration. That's what I believe in. That's what happens. Whatever works for you, that's perfect. But recently... I have realized that my my office area and my shelves, I have some shelves downstairs that I have books and programs and loose papers and all kinds of stuff. I realized that this has all gotten, it's, you know, I am so good at letting go of stuff, but for some reason, books and papers and programs, I'm like, but what if, like, what if I want to use that somewhere down the road? What if, what if, what if? So recently, as I've been thinking about things, I thought about this one program that I had printed out. I'd taken it and I printed it out and I had it on my shelves here in with a lot of other loose papers. And I had thought about that, like, you know what? I really need to just go ahead and get rid of that. And a lot of those other loose papers where I've just jotted down unending notes. Well, sure enough, the next day I get up, my two fur babies who I love dearly and they make me laugh a lot. They had gotten a hold of the stack of papers that I had thought about and had shredded it all over the floor. (laughs) Now, I laughed my ass off. I really did. And I said, oh, my God, they are helping me declutter. Like, they, they pulled out the exact papers, the program that I had thought about. And I just went up to them, believe it or not, and I said, thank you very much, and in the garbage it went. Well, just last night, I was thinking about how many books I have that I started to read, and I don't resonate with them. It, for me, if I start reading a book and it has these, now we start talking about these rules or these conditions or limiting beliefs, um, I am not about rules. All of you that, that have listened to me over time definitely know that. So when I start reading a book and they start t- talking about things are this way or that way or have to be this way or that way or you have to do this to get this. And I'm like, oh, hell no. I generally stop reading it. But I still have those books around. And I don't even know why because honestly, I know I'm not going to pick them up again. So I was thinking of one book in particular last night. I said it popped in my head 
And I thought, as I was kind of doing this checklist in my head of the books I could get rid of, this one book popped in my head that definitely I need to get rid of that one. <clears throat> so, and I'm not going to tell you the names of the books because I'm not going to, you know, people write these and they're good writers and this, these books are for some people, but for me, the ones that I'm going to get rid of are not for me. So, thought about that book, um, went through my day today, went to the grocery store, came back. Now, we've been here all day, myself, Macy, and Gracie. I've been working. They've been outside. They've been inside. Came home from the grocery store. The one book they got off my shelf and started chewing on was the one I had thought about. I mean, at this point, when this, this just happened this afternoon, I'm like, holy cow. Like, it's literally like universe saying, okay, get rid of the shit already. Like, it takes your dogs chewing it up now to make it okay. <laughs> what if that sounds like any of you? Like, we need this, some reason to get rid of certain things. Now, I have eliminated everyone from my life that was draining me, dragging me down, um, uh, you know, energetically pulling, pulling from me, hanging on to me, like whatever it was, the energetic bond was not, it's not a healthy one for me. So I've done that. I've done that. It's, and then sometimes I'll fall back into that pattern again of trying to save someone or help someone or, I mean, beyond what I should be doing and it's taking away from stuff that I need to be doing. And, but I can catch myself so quick, so much quicker. But this whole thing with all these books and paperwork. Um, so now I have boxes. I just opened two boxes that I am filling up tonight. All of the stuff, the books that I have started and never finished. Um, I have a few favorites that I'll hang on to, but these are books like, like Wayne Dyer's book, uh, Memories of Heaven, where he, uh, you know, all of his followers wrote in and gave him stories about how their children remembered heaven and would tell stories about it. Like books like that or Miracles Happen by Brian Weiss. These are books, you know, Animal Spirit Guides by Stephen Farmer. These are books that I will probably always hold on to unless I gift them to someone else. I, get, I give books to people all the time. Even if it's books that I treasure, I will pass on to others. Same with my crystals. People, some people I know are so, um, and again, this is not a judgment thing. They are just like, so these are my crystals. I took the time to find them and, and I felt them and I bonded with them. And some people don't even want anyone else to touch their crystals. I'm the complete opposite. <laughs> I'm like, if someone wants to touch my crystals, I'm guessing they might need something from that crystal. I had someone, well, I had a few girlfriends over last week. And one of them, we were talking about her daughter, who I have worked with a couple of times. One of those uh, situations where I'm working with her daughter and Jesus and Archangel Michael, and her daughter doesn't know, but we did some work with her daughter. And um, anyway, that's going to be another podcast. <laughs> uh, but she was talking about her daughter and how, you know, just going through a tough time. And she's had a very, she's had a tough time. This is a, an adopted girl. And um, I said, you know, does she have her, still have her little, she used to have carry this little box. It, it reminded me of, it's not a secrets box, but if you guys, you know, if you know what secrets, secrets, I think that's how they used to say it. Those throat lozenges in the metal tin box that would open up. I used to love that thing. I'd put little rocks in there. But she had a box about that size, and she had tiny little crystals in there and rocks she found out in nature. And I said, does your daughter still have that box? And she said, oh, yeah, she still has that. And I said, well, you know what? Something's just telling me that she needs this special crystal that I found in Sedona, Arizona. And so I got up, and I went and grabbed it, and it's a celestite, a celestite. Uh, it is attuned to the angel's. And I'm trying, I'm sure I'm going to spell it for you now. Celestite, C-E-L-E-S-T-I-T-E. -E -E. I actually did a video on YouTube. I think it's Crystals 101. If you want to hop on there and see that, I do give you several crystals that, if you're kind of new to crystals and want to get into them, I give you a little tutorial. I show you some, some of my favorites and how they can help you. But that's on my YouTube channel. But anywho, I uh, went and got this Celestite and I said, 
I want you to take this to your daughter. And I think the next day was her birthday or something. But I said, tell her it's from me. And I said, this is a special crystal with special powers that I got in Sedona, Arizona. And it called me like I picked this crystal for a reason. And I even pointed out there's one spot inside of the crystal. It's this beautiful light blue, um, chunky crystal. It's, it's rough cut. It's not polished. But there's this heart on the inside. I even pointed to it. I said, make sure that your daughter knows where, the, like, show her the heart. This is hers and her to, hers to do with whatever she wants. So, again, I think that's one way we get rid of, cl not clutter. Like, my crystals are never clutter. But I, I just, when I'm guided, I do it. I hand it over. I give it away. I don't think about it. I never look at it as a loss, like I'm losing something. I look at it as that person is gaining something. And I got to be the one to provide that, whether it's here's a crystal, here's a book, whatever. So let this message today <laughs> speak to you if you are hanging on to clutter, whatever it is. We do not need all of the stuff. It's weighing us down. Clutter holds on to negative energy. It truly does. And all these loose papers that I have with a note here and there, like writing something down thinking I will never think of it again, that's all kinds of craziness. Because I look at those shelves and it instantly happens like this vibrational shift of, oh, I've got to go through those papers or maybe I'm, you know, missing something. I need to go through the papers and then I'll look through them again and I'm not missing anything. And why don't I throw them away? I don't know. <laughs> but I am now because I'm sick of it. It's almost like it's not causing anxiety, but it's one of more, it's one more of these have tos. I got to hang on to that because I might have to do something with it. I might, you know, I might need to talk about that. I might, that might be a course idea. Well, I have several journals that I can write stuff in. I don't need to keep all these loose papers. Definitely don't need to keep all of these books that do not resonate with me. I have spent so many years now deprogramming myself, getting rid of the limiting beliefs, getting rid of the bullshit stories. I'm not about to read a book that's going to put me back to square one or even back a couple of steps. It is not going to happen. I have my own beautiful and amazing connection with God and the universe, and there are no fucking rules where I live. So all of these books are going. I could look at it as, well, if I donate them, then am I not, you know, aren't I adding to that then to someone else's stories? Hey, that's their journey. <laughs> I'm not here to save anyone. I'm not here to convince anyone of anything. I'm here to live my life. I'm here to heal my shit and I'm here to shine my light. And then when people say, I want to be like you, I can say, well, this is how I did it. Maybe it'll work for you too. That's what I do. There's not one way to get to our destiny. There's so many ways. I just decided that I was sick and tired of difficult and I wanted the rest of my way to be easy. And so I tuned in, got rid of my bullshit stories, and my life is really, really easy. All right, I am sending massive love to you. Get rid of the stuff. What kind of books do you got to get rid of? The notes, the papers, the, all the stuff. You don't need it. I love you all. I will talk to you tomorrow. Namaste.